right, time to get another look here at Hurricane Irma and its forecast path. Let's take a look right now at the very latest. Let's start off with our hurricane advisories, which include the warnings and watches. The red are the warnings, meaning hurricane force winds are headed for these areas. Now you start to get to some of the lighter colored pink shades here. Those are hurricane watches, which extend up into the northwest part of the Bahamas, and we want to keep you and your family safe. I do think tomorrow South Florida will be in hurricane watches, and then they may potentially be extended up into parts of the southeast, but that would not be for another couple days down the road. We still have some time to get prepared here across southeast Georgia and the low country. Now, as we move forward here with Hurricane Irma, it's just to the north of Puerto Rico, 45 miles right now. It's a major Category 5 storm. Winds are 185 miles per hour. Now, as we watch this path here, you see it is somewhere down to the south of Florida Keys, South Florida, that we begin to see that bend to the north. And we have zoomed this in here because this shows somewhere across South Florida, potential for this to be a Category 4 hurricane. And then it would weaken a little bit, but still Category 3, 4, and 5, those are major hurricanes. Winds potentially still around 100 to 120 miles per hour. The forecast air, though, is very great at this point. It really could be anywhere within this forecast fan. We're looking at four or five days down the road. Now, the hurricane wind scale goes from one to five, a one low end hurricane. But don't tell that to us. Hurricane Matthew last year, that was a ferocious storm. We saw plenty of damage from that, but that was a category one. Hurricane Irma at the moment is a category five, and we are looking uh, somewhere in this neighborhood, maybe a two, three or four storm when it gets to Florida into parts of the southeast United States. Major hurricanes are category three, four or five. Now, what do we know about this hurricane right now? No local impacts here until Sunday or Monday. You have plenty of time to still plan, but you need to be taking those steps now. Storm may track near the southeast coast. We just showed you that and the impacts would be Potential for tropical storm force or hurricane force winds, heavy rain, and there would be some sort of storm surge associated with that. Storm surge highly dependent upon the exact track of the storm. All right, more on Irma in a moment. First, though, let's take a little break, talk about a couple spotty showers we have across the area right now. They're mainly away from the coast and west of I-95. Uh, we'll go do a little inspection here. Our friends out in Jeff Davis County, just uh, near the Hazelhurst area and west of town. Heavier downpours there lined up along Highway 221. These will zip off to the northeast at the moment. No lightning associated with those. And there's a push of cool air behind this rain. We're looking at temperatures in the 70s in Augusta and making a big drop in humidity. That will come sweeping through our area tonight. We have some refreshing days ahead, and let's talk about that with Futurecast Wednesday this evening, 9 p.m. Maybe a hit or miss shower will dry things out after midnight, and that step out the door tomorrow morning. A breath of fresh air, some sunshine, low humidity, and that will be sticking around for Thursday and very likely Friday. But our future cast tropical model here showing Hurricane Irma. There it is churning through the Bahamas and we'll watch for that potential turn near Florida. Now leading up to Irma the next three days as we start to gear up, get our uh, action plans together. If you need to prepare any uh, the outside of your home, well, the weather conditions look pretty good. Less humid, beautiful day on Friday. Saturday, Irma would be somewhere near or over Florida and still a nice day here locally. And then Sunday, our weather conditions would start to deteriorate very late in the day. And that's what we're showing here as we go through the weekend. Rain chances start to increase. If we see some wind or Irma stays on the current path or very close to it, the worst of the weather conditions would be on Monday. Storm would move out very quickly Tuesday and the threat of a uh, repeat of what we saw with Hurricane Harvey in Houston. Probably not happening with this because this storm is in and out fairly quick. We will continue to monitor Irma. Back